Hey there! Today we're going to learn what is Anzac Day. I think I know. It's something related to the Gallipoli battle. Something that happened during World War I, if I'm not mistaken. I read about it before. I checked out a video many years ago, maybe in my, in my other channel, when I was checking out stuff about Australia and uh, world history. But I might be mistaken, so here I am watching this video and trying to get new information. Oh, it's the day where you commemorate... Every oh, year cool. in Australia, we commemorate a very important day in Australian history known as Anzac Day. That's also At New this Zealand, time of no? the year, you oh, might this. sometimes bake Anzac biscuits or stand in Ooh, silence to reflect good. and remember Anzac soldiers. But do you know who the Anzacs were and why it is important that we commemorate this day? In 1914, the world was in turmoil at the outbreak of World War I. Though Australia and New Zealand were considered young nations, both of these countries came together to help their British allies in the war. These soldiers were called ANZACs, which stands mm. for Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Okay. On the 25th of April 1915, the Anzacs travelled to a place called the Gallipoli Peninsula to capture oh, the yes, Turkish capital correctly. of Istanbul, known then as Constantinople. However, they were met by a fierce defence from Ottoman Turkish soldiers. What they had hoped to be a quick campaign turned out to be eight months of brutal warfare. Eight months after their arrival, the Anzacs evacuated from Gallipoli, but not before many soldiers had given their life or suffered great injuries. In fact, over 10,000 Anzacs died at the fierce hand of the war at Gallipoli. 10,000! Wow! Upon their return, Australia has commemorated Anzac Day since the 25th of April 1916, one oh, year after the Anzacs first arrived at Gallipoli. There are many... Actually, that is the day where Italy also held its uh, memorial days, the day of independence, independence from the fascism, the day that Italy was liberated. Also so cool that we share such an important date. I mean, I know it's different, but still, it's the same date of the year. So pretty cool, it's pretty cool, I like it. Symbols and emblems that you might recognize on Anzac Day. Let's have a look at a few of them. Yum, an Anzac biscuit. It, it looks can so be good. fun to help bake these and even more fun to eat around Anzac Day. But it's a bit funny to remember Anzac Day by eating a biscuit, isn't it? Where did they come from? The Anzac biscuit we have today is similar to a type of food many of the Anzac soldiers carried with them. Because they didn't have fridges or shops to get food from, the soldiers needed to eat food that would not go bad over time. Many carried the first Anzac biscuits, which were a substitute for bread. Though they oh. can be a tasty treat, they also help us remember some of the struggles Anzac soldiers went through. Another symbol you might recognize are flowers, such as red poppies or rosemary flowers. Red poppies were famously found growing in some of the most brutal locations of World War I, such as northern oh, France and Belgium wow. after the war had ended. Rosemary flowers symbolized no memory and were found scattered throughout the peninsula at Gallipoli. Because these flowers are very symbolic, they are used as a way for us to remember those fallen by war. They can often be seen being laid down in remembrance of fallen soldiers during days such as Anzac Day. 
The original Anzac Day was significant because not only was it a day to remember and pay respects to the families and friends of those that had died in war, it also played a major part in forming an Australian identity of courage and mateship that is still mm. important today. Whilst the Anzac legend lives on, soldiers from Australia have defended our country in other wars since World War I. This means that when we commemorate Anzac Day, we remember those that have given their lives in service of our country on other occasions as well. There are many ways Anzac Day is commemorated today. Often people will rise for a dawn service. These services are held at dawn each year because this was the same time Anzac soldiers originally arrived on Gallipoli shores. Mm. What are some of the other ways we remember those in our past and present who have committed themselves to the service of our country on Anzac Day? Wow. <laughs> Wow, that was a very beautiful video. Wow, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's really nice that you will commemorate uh, such events. Come on, it's good that you, that true heroes will always be remembered throughout history, even after more than a century. That's so beautiful. That is very, very beautiful. I wonder if there are videos about... Uh, Australia in World War II. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Australia war, was um, was neutral during World War II or they participated in the conflict in some way. So maybe, maybe let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and if they did so, let me know which videos to check out because I want to learn more about the history of your beautiful country. Wow. That was a very nice video, actually. I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for your recommendation. And I will see you very soon in my other videos.